Hello everyone. In my previous video, I talked about dynamic text and adding with DAX in Power BI. You can check out the video on the dynamic dashboard series 1 to know how to automate some edits in your report and how to add some dynamic headings. In this video, I'm going to talk about dynamic colors with DAX in Power BI and also conditional formatting. Let's get into it. I'm going to start a dashboard from scratch and create some shapes, visuals and dynamically change the color. The first thing I'm going to do in this dashboard is I'm going to bring like a shape at the top and also a footer shape so that I can design my dashboard the way I like. So if I go to insert and bring a new shape, you know you can go to insert to bring things. On my insert tab, I can bring a shape here, uh, just a rectangular shape. I'm going to come here and bring a shape and drag the shape across the whole canvas like this, right? So this is how I want my dashboard to look like, but I also want to reduce the transparency of the feel of this shape a little bit to maybe 90 something percent. Uh, I think 83, let me do 85 or 88, right? Just to be a little bit... Um, um, light or let me even do 92. I think I prefer 92. I want this background to be very very light All right, so this is the background of my dashboard The next thing I'm going to do is I'll bring another shape inside just like an add-in And I'm going to take this up here and then drag it a little bit above my um, Visual like this I can leave it like this. I'm also going to duplicate this by doing ctrl C and ctrl V Take it down here as the footer for my dashboard. Alright. Now, I have the shape. Now that I have the shape, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to just uh, do some little visuals and add it to this dashboard. I can actually come to my visualization pane here and start adding some visuals. So the first thing I would like to add to my visual is like a, um, let me add a slicer. So this slicer that I'm, I'm adding, I'm going to add a, a bank. So in this data, I have data sets of different banks and their financials. So I'm going to add banks. I can make this visual horizontal. I can make it horizontal here. and then reduce it a little bit like this i can also remove the slicer header and also remove the background so i have these banks here at the top i can remove some banks i don't want let me just remove them from the filter i only want to work with five banks so the five banks I want to work with are just FBNH, GTB, I would also like to work with um, UBA. Um, all right, so I have the filter of the banks that I needed. Another thing I can add to this um, is I can add maybe a dynamic title. So you can look for how to do a dynamic title in my previous post. I can add a dynamic title here. I can add a dynamic title here and select. I have a measure for my dynamic title already. So I've created a dynamic title. I can add it here. Put it off here. I can format it a little bit. Remove the category label, remove the background color. I can also reduce the size. To 30 and make it fit perfectly all right now that I have some few designs in my report the next thing I want to do is to now add a dynamic color to all these shapes and then text that I have on my screen so the first thing I will do is I'm going to write some measures that actually shows what I want to do 
so i will come here and start writing some beautiful measures so let me write my measure inside the um, 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 consolidated banks and then i'm going to call this measure dynamic background color i'm going to call this measure dynamic background color dynamic background color so what, basically what i want to do here is that anytime anybody select any bank from this my report i want this dashboard to be able to reflect the color of those banks right and i'm sure you're going to agree the different colors with me by the time i start doing the uh, uh colors right so the best dax measure to use when you are when you are changing uh, your color dynamically is a measure called switch switch allows you to change from one particular thing to another so if i type the name of the measure i want to use here which is called switch right you can see descriptions you see that switch return different result depending on the value of an expression it's going to return different results right so i want to switch between different colors now remember that powerful measure that we used in my previous video called selected value it will actually be useful here i can also use selected value to say anytime somebody selects a particular bank i want you to do this right now i'm picking bank from bank table anytime anybody select a particular bank right this is like a condition anytime somebody select a particular bank what value did you want so switch actually has like let me say four expression the four argument the first thing is expression which is what i just put here selected value then the value and then the result the last one is s just like your if statement anytime somebody select a bank which value in bank that's what switch is asking for i just put a comma anytime anybody selects let me start with access access bank right anytime anybody selects access bank for my report then what color is uh, access bank color let me just put one color what color is access bank i think it's um, um is it orange or blue okay let me use blue right anytime anybody so you have to put your color in quotes right in quote because it's a test anytime anybody select access bank i want a blue color let me put a comma now i'm typing value 2 anytime anybody select uba i'm also putting that in quote anytime anybody selects uba then i want to return uba color i think it's red then i want to return color red now another value anytime remember i have five banks i want to work with five banks anytime anybody select gtb right put it in quote because it's a test anytime anybody select gtb i want orange color right gtb is orange comma again now how many banks is that i think we just have just three banks now anytime anybody select another bank we have zenith bank as well so anytime anybody select zenith bank i think zenith bank is like brown color not really that red but i'm not sure the fifth bank actually um we have uba we have access we have gtb and then we have a uh, first bank now anytime anybody select fb i think their own color is um, um blue so i can just do s i don't need to write the last argument so s is just um blue right first one color is blue uh, then i'll close my bracket so this is my expression for dynamically changing the color of some shapes right now let's see how this works this measure that i just wrote let's see how this measure works what i'm going to do now i'm going to add these measures to some of this shape all of this shape actually and let's see how these measures interact on the shape so the first shape which i have here the one uh at the top i'm going to click on this shape once i click on this shape there is something called conditional formatting for the people that are new to power bi Conditional formatting allows you to format your uh, 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 color text based on condition. For shape, I want to format the fill color, right? So you see the fill color for shape here, and you can see the color. I can actually change the color myself one by one, but that is not what I want to do. I want to change the color dynamically. That's why you can see these FX here, right? Use an expression to change the color. 
using conditional format. So I'm going to click on it, this FX, and right here, format by, I'm going to change the color scale to feed value. Right. Now, this based on field, I'm going to go to my measure and select it. The measure I wrote is dynamic color. So I'm going to look for dynamic background color here and select it. So based on the measure, my report will actually show what I want to see. So let me have the same color to this one as well. I'm going to go here, click on FX and change this to feed value. Change my based on feed value, based on feed to dynamic background and click OK. I'm also going to do the same thing for my background um, shape, which is this light shape. Come to fill color, fill, click on this FX, feed value, change the base on field to the measure I wrote, which is dynamic background color. Then I'll click OK. Alright, so I have successfully changed my color to... Um, what i want to use right so if i click on assets bank now you can see my report we actually interact based on assets bank assets bank right assets bank let's see my color show my dashboard show blue because that's blue but this blue is not that nice it's not really assets bank color if i select first bank i also put blue for first bank this is not really like first bank blue gtb i put orange can you see this change to orange my old shape the shape at the top change to orange, the orange, and also the background change to like the light shade of orange. Now, UBA, I think I put color red for UBA, or this red. Now, the shape at the top change to red, the shape below change to red, and this light background also change to the light shade of red. Zenith Bank, I pick brown, so the shape at the top change to brown, this down here change to brown, and this some light, um, uh, light brown, right? But actually, these are not the true color of these banks. What I can do is I can actually go online to me, maybe Google and check the certain X color of these banks, right? So if I ask the X color somewhere, I can actually change it. Like for example, Access Bank, this is not their blue. So while I was researching online, I saw some colors for Access Bank, which is actually this ES code. So I'm going to paste the ES code in Access Bank command. So instead of showing blue, I'm just pasting the X code here. Asterix 061662 for access bank. Also for UBA, I think the own color is red. Red is fine. But for GTB, I think uh, the color did not really come out well. So the orange does not really look like GTB. Let me also put the X code for GTB here as well. For Zenith Bank as well, I think the brown makes sense for Zenith Bank. Um, for UBA, actually, I can leave it as red. F for First Bank, maybe I can leave it as this uh, blue. I think this blue actually look more of um, First Bank. Now, let me look at the, the company that I changed now, which is Assets Bank and GTB once again. All right, so if you look at the Assets Bank now, this look more of their color. And if you look at First Bank, First Bank have more of um, uh, blue, right? And if you look at GTB, the GTB color now look more like GTB color. UBA is actually red and Zenith Bank is actually brown. I can leave it this way, right? 